So I just got a brand new order on Fiverr for $170 and I decided to show you how I interact with my customers and how I work and how I organize myself every time I get a new request, a new order. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. First, I'm going to show you our conversation. The first thing he said was hello, and he went straight to the chase and explained his project, which is his opening an axe throwing location, which is a place where you go with friends and family to throw an axe at a wooden wall. So he wants me to create an app that he's going to project to that wooden wall so that players can choose games from it and play them throwing an axe to the projection on the wall. So I always reply to all my clients, hi, thanks for contacting me. That is like the step one of my recipe. I always say this because, you know, I'm actually grateful that they are interested in my services. Then, since he already explained the project and I already knew if I could do it or not, I told him, yes, I can do it. I offered him to do this job for $150 because I thought he only wanted three games inside the app. But then he said he wanted at least five games. So I agreed to make the app with five for $170. And since everything was settled, I sent him the offer, he accepted it, and then he sent the requirements. So the timer was on and the first thing I did was create a to-do list for the first draft. So I started off with creating the games menu, the standard bullseye, tic-tac-toe, and the true monopoly. I left the player manager for later because first I wanted to make the games and show him how they were going to look and the app itself. I always send the app beforehand, this way they are going to know what they are going to get. This is great because they can check the app before the delivery and they can tell me if they want to change something. So to make the standard bullseye, I started off creating the target board in Illustrator and turning each target into buttons so that every time one is pressed, the corresponding points will be added to the player in turn. Oh, and I also decided to make a logo for each game. Spoiler alert, I had to recreate the point system later on because I started with only four players as you can see here because I thought the games were supposed to be played by four players max. But then he cleared out that it can be played by up to 10 players honestly made me rethink the point system and the player system but it actually ended up being way better than what I had in mind because uh, as you can see here I had this well let's just say the super inefficient code and then I came up with a more efficient one then I created the tic-tac-toe in Illustrator I mean I first created the, the lines the board, the tic-tac-toe board, and then I created the pieces, meaning the X with some axes and also the the O with a target. And also the logo. I really like the result of this one. Then I created the true monopoly. This one was fairly simple to make. I basically made a lot of squares and then a randomizer that creates a new number for each square every time a new game starts or when the board is filled. And True Monopoly works basically when the player throws the axe to one of the boxes, to one of the squares, it will receive the amount of points that that square contains. And finally I made the games menu. I found this carousel view which I found it very cool. So thank you very much Sushanta Chat. Checker, checkerboardy. I definitely murdered that name. 15 days remaining, 4 days had gone, and I sent him the APK. So as you can see here, I sent him the APK without the true monopoly because it wasn't ready yet. And his reaction was actually very pleasant. He said that it looked great and I mean the app was still very underdeveloped so like it's missing three of the games since I didn't send him the, the true monopoly because it wasn't ready. And also the tic-tac-toe doesn't recognize the winner. As I told you before, this is when he told me that the games were supposed to be played up to 10 players. For the second draft, I deleted the four players that you see underneath. And finally he also said that he wanted an undo button. Oh, and he also sent a few rough sketches about how he wants the game to be like with the buttons and stuff. I think I did a pretty good progress for these days. Now it was time to work on the other games and on the player manager and on the undo button that he wanted. And yeah. So for the second draft, I used his sketches as reference. So as you can see, he has tables at the top. I didn't know how to create a, a grid table like that one, but I found this free asset, which is great. It is very intuitive, very easy to work with. 
So I started working on the player manager and I made it so that when you choose one of the games, you're gonna have to choose the amount of players. And in the case of tic-tac-toe, that number two is gonna be selected by default. Then I also started working on the moving fruits. For this one, I made the fruits move around and I made buttons with the points for each fruit. Yeah, I know I had a bit of a delay due to spring break, but there's nothing to worry about. I actually spoke with him and we agreed on extended delivery for a few more days. He even sent me some modifications, so I needed those extra days anyway. I'm now going to show you the APK that I sent for the second draft. So yeah, as you can see, I didn't send him the moving bullseye, which is the only game remaining. And also there are some things that I still need to add from what he asked me before. Um, but anyways, he did send me a lot of modifications he wanted and some pictures. So the pictures are some minor changes, such as here in the moving fruits, he wanted me to change the button's position into the side, as you can see, and also add his logo at the button. Also on top of the total column in the score panel, he wanted me to add the word total. And lastly, instead of saying choose game when choosing the amount of players, he wanted me to change it to choose the amount of players. He also sent a full document with a lot of changes he wanted, and I turned that document into a to-do list, so I make sure that I integrate everything he mentioned in that document and yeah so first on the list was to change the name of true monopoly to squares so I changed the logo in illustrator I started off with the most simple first then I changed the position of the buttons in the moving fruits I changed the text choose the game to choose the amount of players I had the total text then I gave the ability to the players to change their names in-game. I changed the speed of each fruit depending on the amount of points it gives. I added a winner scene, which shows the top three winners. And long story short, I ended up completing all tasks from the list. To be honest, a few of these took a few days to make. So yeah. So I'm going to show you now the final result, how the app turned out to be. So as you can see, I added his logo as a splash image. The five games are fully ready. You can choose the amount of players and also choose your name. If you leave it blank, it's going to say player and the number corresponding to that player. And also the position of the player in turn, it's always going to be the fourth in the table in game. As long as there are four players or more playing. There is the undo button, which only undoes the last play. The background of the player in turn changes in the score table. There is a miss button in case one of the players misses the target, except on tic-tac-toe because it wouldn't make sense. I also added his logo on each game and yeah, a bunch of different changes. So now my palms were sweaty, knees weak, my arms were heavy, there's vomit on my sweater already. I sent him the APK. He responded immediately, like literally less than a minute. And he said that he was going to check it out. Seven minutes later, and he... Wow. Amazing job. It turned even better than I had ever expected. I didn't know how to respond, so I just said... Oh, oh. I'm so glad you like it. To which he responded... I love it. So yeah, a very happy ending. I delivered the APK formally and also sent him the link to a Google Drive with the Unity files. He accepted it right away and left a $34 tip and a very cool five stars review. Honestly, this makes it all worth it. It is very satisfying when they really like your work. Now he hired me again, but this time for $200 because he wanted to add more games to the app. I'm not planning on making a second part, but if you're interested, let me know in the comment section. Anyways, this was all for today's video. I really hope you enjoy it. It took me quite some time to edit this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions on how to be a freelancer on Fiverr, make sure to subscribe and let me know those questions. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.